Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. If you're ever having a bad day, if you're ever just feeling like you don't feel very good and you don't like yourself as a person, just remember how excited Arthur Weasley would be to meet you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, yeah. Good, I, good I read advice. that on Facebook recently oh, okay. and it made me feel a little better. <laughs> that is true, yeah. So, hey everybody, Artie and time. Marty are back for more Turnabout Big Top Honk Honk Tweet Tweet in Phoenix Wright Justice for All. We're on the last mm -hmm. trial period, but the first part. So we okay. still have a good amount of the case left. Let's begin. There are those it's, dudes, they're standing there always. It's December 30th, 9.41am, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. It's almost Five. New Year's Eve. Oh, wait, Defendant Lobby number five. I can math good. Good morning, Max. Oh, yeah. Good morning, sweeties. You don't seem like your usual sparkling self today. I'm always like this before I go in front of an audience. I'm working up to it. <laughs> oh. Don't get nervous, Maxie. Here, have a glass of milk. Regina! How fabulous! My sweetie pie! My sweetie pie princess! Oh, is she on trial? No. Oh. You came to watch my performance today? Of course I did! Mo told me I should come and watch this. Mo said that? So, what kind of performance will you put on today? Let me guess, you'll fly at the end? Uh... It's not that kind of show. Isn't that right, my sweeties? Huh? I think my sweetie pie princess doesn't... Yeah, she doesn't seem to realize what's going on, or even where she is. Hmm. Well, Max, it looks like it's time to raise the curtain. I'll see you later. Today, I'm just a member of the audience. F fabulous Enjoy yourself out there. Good luck, Max. You're the best. Gina's different, don't you think, Max? Er, Max. <laughs> no. Top of the morning to ya! Everybody, let's get ready to get stuck in Weagle Limbo! How well can you go? M mo Top of the morning to you, governor! Uh, top of the morning. That's the ticket! Attacking the day starts with energy in the morning! The early bird gets the worm, but then again, worms lack higher brain function! <laughs> Actually, that's cool. Ah, here, Max! I brought you a present! Have some milk! Oh my! Thank you. So how are you today, right? Well, I've got the feeling that today I'm going to face off against the real criminal. You mean Acro? Huh? Y you think he did it? Be careful. He's used to putting his life on the line, literally. Apparently. He's got guts to spare. If all I've got to worry about is how thin the tightrope is, I'm used to it already. It just means that I won't be able to press him like I can other witnesses. Oh. What are you going to do then, Nick? That's basically how you win every trial! <laughs> I guess today we'll have to do without our usual psychological warfare. Today we rely on evidence. It's the only way we'll get past Acro into the truth. You're right, but it's gonna be tough. Anyways, I want you to make sure Regina sees it all today. It's important. Then she'll finally have to deal with the reality of what happened to her father. Yeah. You want us to make sure Regina watches? Yes. That's why I brought her here to court today. What's that supposed to mean? She needs to know that when people die, they don't just become stars. I may be an old-fashioned clown, but I don't believe in people becoming stars. I'm, yeah, I get that. Alright, 10 a.m. sharp. We're in the courtroom number two. She was like 17, so... 16. 16, that's right. The court is now in session for the trial of Maximilian Galactica. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Miss Von Karma, you may proceed with your case. The prosecution would like to revise its previous theory of events. It is previous theory of events. Yeah, apparently. Great, great use of the apostrophe there. What's the meaning of this? That, there's not supposed to be an apostrophe there. <laughs> <laughs> we have discovered a new witness. Or shall we say, a new eyewitness. One that, one that saw Maximilian Galactica fly from the scene of the crime. I wish you could see people in the audience like, oh, there's Pearl in the audience, there's Regina in the audience, like, woo! Like, with 
their own little spray. That'd be cool. <laughs> order! Order! I had a feeling something like this would come up. Due to this revision, we are now prepared to explain how the defendant flew that night. An explanation the prosecution will present if the need so arises. In fact, my, de my detective stayed up all night creating a mock-up of the scene, on my orders. Poor Gumshoe. <laughs> Poor Gumshoe indeed. Gumshoe gets like, I don't know, almost the, like the butt end of every joke. Oh yeah, you know he's I mean? the butt monkey. Yeah, oh man. Very well, please call your witness to the stand. Time to get to work, or shall I say, time to walk the courtroom tightrope. He gets to sit when he testifies. <laughs> Name and occupation. Ken Dingling, but everyone calls me Acro. I'm employed as an acrobat at the Very Big Circus. Where were you the night of the crime? I was in my room that night. If you look at the map, you will see that the witness's room is near the crime scene. My room is on the third floor. The crime scene is below my window. Hmm. The night of the crime, the witness saw something quite shocking. Would you tell us what you witnessed? Okay. I love how all the birds are like, Akko! They're still hanging out with him. <laughs> witness testimony, what you witnessed. It was just after 10 p.m., and I was resting in my bed. Around that time, I heard a large thump noise from outside the window. Then a few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. It was Max Galactica. I only saw him from behind, but that's who it looked like. His wheelchair's nowhere to be seen in the room. That's interesting. Maybe it's under his bed. To be honest, when I saw that, I thought I was dreaming. Hmm. This witness's testimony matches up exactly with that of the clown. If that's the case, there is very little that the prosecution needs to add. All that's left is to explain how the defendant disappeared into the sky that night. Before we get that far, I'd like to cross-examine the witness. A foolish choice by a foolish fool who wishes to feel the foolish sadness of a sad fool. A man must know the proper timing for things, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Just like your old friend, Mr. Miles Edgeworth did. Mr. Wright, do you have a problem with the witness's testimony? Why is the judge not phased by this? <laughs> if the judge was willing to eat a ton of food <laughs> by a witness, I feel like he would have been like, Mr. Edgeworth, we don't speak of such a, like, you know. <laughs> eh, maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he doesn't. In the words of Miss Von Karma, may I quote yesterday's proceedings? There's no way that actually happened. Very well, you may proceed with your cross-examination. All right. Hi, Birdman. <laughs> you know the Bird Woman from Mary Poppins? It's like, feed, feed the, the birds! birds. That's this the one with the killer voice in the Broadway version. Oh, the Broadway version's amazing. I think the movie one's pretty good. I still like the Disney version better. Yeah. The Broadway one has a really creepy song. That they changed like five different times. Do you remember that song? That's the one with the toys? Yeah. They literally, I think they've changed that at least three times. Really? Was it because it was too creepy? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it was. I remember seeing the movie, not the movie. Well, seeing the movie as well, but seeing the show live well, and the, being freaked out well, as a child. The movie has the weird like CGI part with the toys as well. Yeah, but that, <laughs> yeah, but that that was like kind of funny. Yeah, it, it that was. That was more funny, and besides, the movie had the amazing "We Love to Laugh" scene. Oh, the movie just is movie. one of the best movies. And Julie Andrews. Ev like, everything is great. <laughs> You said you were resting in bed. One would thus assume that you turned the lights off in your room, correct? That's correct. But there are safety lights around the outside of the lodging house. It's so bright, sometimes it can make it hard to sleep. If that's the case, wouldn't it be a good idea to close some curtains? Stop kissing your bird and talk. I never really thought of that. I guess that means I'm off to buy some curtains. <laughs> Sometimes I do make myself useful in these chambers. <laughs> no! The witness will proceed with his testimony. Around that time, he heard a, lar heard a large thump. So at least the thump is probably not made up, unless if he and Mo are like collaborating. Together. Right. Your room is on the third floor, right? Yes. And you said that you were resting in bed. That is correct. But you were still able to hear a sound from outside? 
I was indeed. Pressing Acro doesn't seem to get results. Hmm. Maybe something was contradictory with what he just said. There was nothing wrong with there's a contradiction. I don't know. You make the call. Apparently we well, might get hit. Oh yeah. Alright, well if we're not sure. What's the matter, Mr. White? N -n nothing Your Honor. Until I can find a clear contradiction, I should tread lightly. Well, she's not saying anything. A few moments later, he saw someone flying right by the window. You do know people can't fly, right? <laughs> Are you sure it was a human being? It could have been a mannequin or perhaps a large action figure. Hmm. Well, setting aside the possibility of a mannequin, an action figure is plausible. An action figure is too small. They said a large one. Oh, you have no need to mince words with Mr. Phoenix Wright. Testifying to the truth and only the truth. Just as if we were there with you la that night. I believe it was a human. Hmm. Damn, it just strengthened his testimony. I wonder if Acro's statement jives with the facts. There's nothing wrong, or there's a constant that fourth chaos? Um, <laughs> Where's that feel, deep fourth chaos? No, symbol? I feel like this game with swearing is like, ah, here you are. Okay, now we'll back off for like two cases well, before I, we swear again. Okay, I didn't actually remember them swearing in this game at all. Eh, they probably do. It's deep. Well, for it's nowhere. You you may not have noticed, but ever since the fourth case of the first game, after that, they don't really swear in this. Yeah, I guess that's true. There's gotta be something that makes it that T rating, though. What's the matter, Mr. Wright? Uh, not like blood or violence or suggestive themes? There's nothing super suggestive in this. Direct Jihadi? Okay, <laughs> that idiot, maybe. <laughs> n -n nothing, Your Honor. Alright, yeah. She's still not talking, which makes me think we're doing that wrong. It can't be Max Galactica if you only saw him from behind. Everyone's like, yeah. it's him! He's in a cloak and a hat! And you're like, that could be anything. <laughs> Super Grover has a cape and a yeah. hat! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, therefore it could have been Super Grover. <laughs> Flying! For all you know. <laughs> the light in your room was turned off then, right? That's true. I was going to bed, after all. So, with the lights off, you were still able to clearly see a human fly by your window? The safety lights lit things up enough for me to see. But honestly, there was only enough light for me to see the silhouette outside my window. Yeah, you cannot tell it's somebody by a silhouette unless if they are extremely distinctive. Right. Like if, uh, yeah, you really can't. It was the person's back, so I couldn't see the white roses on the front. Did you see any of the other symbols? Oh, somebody's mad. I clearly saw the silk hat as well as the cloak wrapped around his body. I'm convinced that the person I saw was Max Galactica. Hmm... The more I press him, the less results I seem to get. But maybe there was something fishy with his latest bit of testimony? So yeah, that, that's kind of where we are with this, is basically you can press and be like, was there something contradictory with what he said there? And one of them there is. Oh. Well. You can't tell it's somebody by the silhouette. Period. Right. Especially if you're wearing a cloak, because a cloak can hide your shape. Right. Um... So there's that. What were the other statements that we pressed? There was that, there was, I saw someone flying okay. by the window. I don't think he was lying about that. And then he heard the large thump. Okay. Unless if Mo also made up the thump, I think it would have to be that. Oh, wait, did we press this? No, we haven't dreaming? pressed this Press yet. that. When did you start thinking that when what you saw wasn't a dream? Objection! That's not important. I believe that the prosecution has done a bit of maintenance on the witness's te memory. Mm hmm. Just to make sure, let's ask the witness. No! Objection. S sustained. Don't sustain that! Akro must be lying about things, huh? Of course he is. Now the challenge will be to expose his lies in court. Well, put the pedal to the metal, Nick! Also, I don't think I've asked you this. Now that we've had all the investigation stuff done and we've heard the testimony, what do you think actually happened in this case? Do you still think Mo and the Remaster swapped places? I think either they swap places... Um... The thing that's tripping me up is that I don't know who the heck did it. You don't? I... Not right now. And I, that part of it is I'm done. 
Um, well, the second... Phoenix basically said, like, Aqua was the killer. We're gonna expose him in court. Maybe. But there's another... There's more than just this trial period. Unless if this is, like, a Gantt situation... This is the last trial period. Unless if this is a Gantt situation all over again, where he's like, Ha! Ha! I have 50 testimonies! Then it's, like, not gonna be, you know, a big thing. Um... There's a to-be-continued in the middle of the trial. Okay. So... Here's the deal. Acro, wheelchair bound. May not be wheelchair bound if he does not have a wheelchair in his room. But I think he should. I don't know. He went to his brother's hospital. Uh, I'm trying It's to... pretty clear he's not faking it because the lion attacked him. I know. No people That's what I'm trying this. to figure out. It, how he would have flown. If right. that were the case. We also don't even know what the murder weapon was that killed the Green Master. Pepper. It's not pepper. It was in a shaker. I know, it's not Pepper. But, um, yeah, we have no idea what the murder weapon is. That's part of the problem. Second, I don't know how anyone flew. My theory still was that Mo figured out how to fly. Or, like, used the pogo stick to jump just in the footprints. <laughs> <laughs> so we would be like, woo! But, like, pogo sticks don't go that high. Right. <laughs> but if he jumped just in the footprints of the person, then it wouldn't have been as big of a deal. Well, here's the thing. Mo claims he saw someone fly away. He doesn't really have much reason to lie unless he was the one right. who did it. And then, But Acro was also testifying to the fact that he saw someone fly. Right. I think someone flew. Someone definitely flew. I just don't know how. Mm -hmm. And my thought was, at first I was like, well, maybe it is wired and someone's um, rigging it. And okay. two people are working together. But I don't know how. Well, that's the thing. Literally, nobody in the entire case has any motive to get rid of the Rainmaster because they all loved him. So that's another thing. That's the thing that's tripping me up as well. There's a lot of right. things that don't add up. So you, you think it's that it's like a silhouette? So... Yeah, it's a silhouette. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Alright. There is a huge contradiction with the testimony that was just given. Objection! If there's a contradiction, then prove it with evidence! Hmm, she's right. Let's see some evidence. Do you have any evidence to support your claim of a contradiction? So just just to recap for people, this is the statement where he's like, Yeah, it was only a silhouette, but I saw him. Like, I couldn't see the roses, but I saw the hat and the cloak. So he's basically judging that he thought it was Max based on the hat and the cloak. Right. It could be that, um, I don't know what evidence to, to use for that, though. Alright, well, we've got the attorney's badge, the Magatama, the crime photo, silk hat. I think it was just more, like, common sense. <laughs> What's that? Exactly. <laughs> the bust. Oh, I forgot, we haven't looked at the bust. Can I look at that? What's with the fans? Those oh, that's cards. 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 It's like, why, are he, why does he have fans? Okay. I don't know, maybe that'll be important. Maybe. It doesn't look like him from the front. <laughs> it really doesn't. Like, it, at all. He has purple hair and stuff. Money it's the monkey. Be money the monkey. This is just confusing. This is like the first case that I've been like, eh, and I see, don't know. See, for me, I love this case up until his trial period, basically. And then I'm like... Nah, they didn't really get to do a good job with the resolution, which everyone disagrees on. They're like, this is the only good part of the case. <laughs> the resolution of it? Okay. Well, let's try something. Okay, I mean, well, Is this even right? I don't know. This is the correct one. Oh, this is the correct one. Yep. Okay. Just not necessarily for the reason you thought. Oh. There's the silhouette. Kind of... So you're only seeing the shadow. Right. It's more... To give you a hint, think of why he thought it was Max. He thought it was Max because of the hat, the hat and the cloak. And the cloak. What's wrong with that? Besides just hasty no judgment. No roses? Is that it? Well, no, because Mo also didn't see the roses. What's wrong with that? Or, like, he's like, I saw the back of Max, so and the white roses are on the front, so I couldn't see them. Okay. Even if the roses were on there, so. Okay. Only saw the back, so that means his back would have been to the window. Right. That's probably good strategy, which is good. Um, can I see the hat? Maybe it's that? So it's the made-to-order fedora that is the symbol. Oh, yeah, the hat fell off. 
Yeah. That's it. I was like... <laughs> you claim to have seen the exact same thing Mo saw that night. Do you stand by that? What do you mean? The silk hat. What about the silk hat? I saw it on Max's head as he flew by my window. Well, you should have tried looking down out of your window that night. That would have been quite difficult considering the state that I'm in. Just looking outside of the window is a tough enough challenge for me. That's a shame, because you would have noticed the silk hat that was found on the scene. That... that's the Ringmaster's hat, right? That's Max's hat. Afraid not. No matter how you look at it, this is Max's silk hat. Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Are you saying that Max has two silk hats? No, this is a handmade, one-of-a-kind model made only for Maximilian Galactica. Which means, Acro, that you've been fibbing on the stand. Well, I'm glad his wheelchair's tall enough to hit the stand. Yeah. Wait, that means that little... I can't remember his name now. C Cody is, like, as tall as a wheelchair. Well, Acro's a big guy, so he needs a big wheelchair. Maybe. He's not, like, big, big. He's, like, big muscles. He's pretty tall as well. Is he tall? Okay, yeah. I don't know how tall he is. Order! Order! Like always, someone has to open their mouth before thinking. Are you okay, Nick? Well, I opened my big mouth, and now I have to back it up. How about it, Mr. Wright? What would cause this witness to commit perjury in this court today? He has a grudge against Max, he was dreaming, or he's the real culprit. Real... Well... But I feel like if he was the real culprit, he'd be like, Whoops, drop the hat! You know, like, perhaps. He, why would he have a grudge against Max? There's literally nothing to back that up. Dreaming, I doubt, because that actually Because it lines up with Moe's. Moe wasn't dreaming. I know. Moe testified that he saw this, and Acro also testified that he saw this. If this is all just a dream, how would it have coincided with what Moe said perfectly? Exactly. So... It would have to be the third yeah. one. Alright, well we have to do the other three. <laughs> Perhaps it's because Acro has a grudge against the defendant. Which is why he's trying to frame Max. No! Oh, why me? What did I do? Never get your fat head in the way of a whip bent on finding justice. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I have no interest in your silly little theories. He has a grudge against the defendant, huh? You wouldn't happen to have proof of that. Well, um, that's the thing. Mr. Wright, thanks to you, I got my head bashed by Miss Von Karma's whip. I don't like getting hit for nothing, so how about you answer with an explanation? Are you okay, Nick? <laughs> no, I'm not. It's obvious that what Acro saw, he didn't actually see at all, because it was a dream! Objection! So, you plan on writing off all of this, the inconvenient facts as nothing but dreams? <laughs> Maybe you should just pinch your cheeks and see if you are actually awake. No! I think your whip proved this isn't a dream just fine. Mr. Wright, how about you provide an answer that actually explains things? Are you okay? <laughs> nope. I still don't know how this would work, though! <laughs> well, also, this is annoying to me because if he's actually the culprit, this is literally Vasquez all over again. That's the thing? Because if he is the real culprit, then it's like, oh, look, who is it? You spent, like, the whole case basically being there. I have no idea. Then it's, oh, they introduce him at the last second at, like, the end of the second yeah. investigation. So, like, you couldn't have predicted that. It was <laughs> a little different than, like, every Scooby-Doo episode where it's like, oh, hey! It was Old Man Smivers, who we saw at the very beginning. Yeah, and then never saw again. <laughs> In this case, that would be Pearl for this case. <laughs> Pearl killed him! <laughs> Your Honor, bad. on this occasion, the defense accuses Acro himself. On this occasion... Uh, uh, accuses Acro? What in the world are you accusing him of? Obviously, we accuse him of the murder of Mr. Russell Berry. He's just like, oh, guys, I can't do anything. Mr. Wright, are you serious? Deadly serious, Your Honor. I have a second theory that could work if this... What? If he's the... Dude, so, there's no marks, no footprints. He was in his wheelchair, and then he was like, okay... This is how we're gonna make them fly. FLY MY BIRDS! And the birds got underneath the cloak and we're like, Woo! Like something out of Enchanted where like they take the little um, wreath thing to um, so, uh, Adina Menzel. So they literally just fly through his cloak and hat. And yeah, but they turn around so nobody can see it. It's just the silhouette. 
<laughs> okay, that's Marty's theory. It's not gonna be it, but I would be so happy. Ha ha ha, I think your trips to the circus have served you well. You seem to remember how to try and grab in an audience of hearts and minds. Your Honor, don't allow yourself to be swayed by the theatrics. How do you not know that word? <laughs> I don't know. You're a theater girl. But I don't see it spelled. Oh. Trying to wow the crowd with smoke and mirrors is the oldest bluff in the book. Really? If you don't believe me, just look at the witness. The picture of calm. He's calm enough for it to be almost scary. Unless if it's hmm. his brother. He is staying rather calm and collected. It could be another thing where it's like, I'm actually the brother and my brother's in the hospital. <laughs> they did that last case! <laughs> Maybe they're reusing all material! <laughs> okay, it was it was a great twist in the last case. That would yeah. be dumb again. Also, his uh, bird is attacking us now. <laughs> this is great. Mr. Dingling, do you have any response to the defense's accusation? I don't really need to say a thing, do I? What do you mean? Everyone, take a good look at me. I can't even stand up by myself, let alone leave the lodging house. Th that's true. I understand that Mr. Wright is just trying to help his client. But to do this by accusing me of a murder of all things? See? Even a sliver of common sense makes it clear that the accusation is ludicrous. <laughs> even a silver. <laughs> a silver! <laughs> I like silver! <laughs> Common sense is worth its weight in silver. Common sense makes sense! She's right! Way to pick on the disabled, you heartless, cruel man! Phoenix is a poopy head! <laughs> See that, Mr. Phoenix Wright? If you're trying to drum up support from the peanut gallery, that's how you do it. Yeah, accusing the disabled is not going to win you anything. No, it is not! Uh... I think that's enough of this little game. I've got a doctor's note to confirm that Acro is unable to stand under his own power. Well, who cares? <laughs> Von Karma, your dad, had a bullet in his shoulder for, like, 50 years. 50? <laughs> <laughs> he was old! Yeah, but he didn't get shot when he was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, a doctor's note is nothing in this game. In regular <laughs> life, it probably is. But never mind the fact that every member of the circus is like, yeah, Acro got attacked by a lion in the legs. <laughs> well, maybe he's recovered by now. I don't think you understand how nerve damage works. I know, I don't understand. <laughs> maybe the defense is planning on making a claim to counter this as well. I can hear the defense now. Acro has an accomplice. Actually, he probably does. What do you say about this, Mr. Wright? Did Acro have an accomplice? Of course he did. Of course he didn't. Of course he did. Who do you think the accomplice is, man? No. It's impossible for Acro to be the murderer in this case. If that's the case, then it's natural for one to consider it possible accomplices. Hmm, you don't say. Not good, not good, this isn't going to end well. Don't tell me you think you're going to get off easy. W what You must not have heard that sound just now. Maybe it wasn't clear enough. The sound of you falling into your own trap can be hard to notice sometimes. Mr. Wright? It seems as if you won't be stopping at Acro, but will be making other accusations. If Acro did not have an accomplice, things are not looking good for you. I understand, Your Honor. Go. Very well, let's continue. Who, perchance, would happen to be Acro's accomplice? I think it has to be Mo, because they both say they saw the same thing. Okay. If that were the case. You... you don't say! Uh-oh. This is suddenly looking very, very bad. <laughs> Don't tell me you think you're going to get off easy. W what? <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Hear what? The sound of you getting caught in your own trap. What a splendid accomplice. I'm sure this accusation is built on a solid foundation. Foundation? Yes, Mr. Wright. Do you have any proof that this person you've accused wasn't indeed an accomplice? Um. <laughs> no! The monkey! <laughs> no, we don't. But they said the same thing. How do we say and present evidence that says they saw the same thing? Um, we can't. <laughs> exactly, so I don't know if that was it. It wasn't. Okay, that's fine. Mr. Wright? Y yes, Your Honor? This piece of evidence is lacking in persuasive power. You didn't miss that sound, did you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You know, the sound of you receiving a penalty. 
Ah! What are you doing, Nick? What do you say about this, Mr. Wright? He did not have an accomplice, actually. Oh. Now then, this must be when we get to hear the name of the mysterious accomplice. Not this time, Von Karma. Wh what? You're not going to sucker me into this one. What are you blabbering about, Mr. Wright? But it would make so much sense if he had an accomplice. There was no accomplice. Acro planned and committed this murder all by himself. What? Now they're gonna say he has <laughs> mysterious powers that that caused him to be able to sleepwalk as someone else. Like oh. what? Are no, you talking? I don't about? know how the heck this dude, unless if he's literally faking everything of his injury, how the heck he's going to do this without another person. That's the question, isn't it? How could he do this if he couldn't even get out of his wheelchair by himself? Mm. Oh, order! Order! That's what I thought he may, might have had an accomplice. Not even someone, like, doing anything for him. Just someone to wheel him around, like, Hey, I'm gonna hide you in the, um, Russell Berry's closet, and then, like... <laughs> what?! You know, you know, like... So he, he can swap places with them or something. You know what I mean? You are just a What makes you think there is a swap?! I don't know! I just... I don't know. <laughs> that was a really weird theory and you just... you're not letting go. I don't know why I thought there was a swap, but... I thought there was a swap! What are but you I doing, that? Way to keep them on their toes, Nick! Now I'm going to have to prove how it all fits together. Don't know how! I have to show how Acro murdered Russell Berry. Can you do it, Nick? Can you really do that? Oh! Maybe he poisoned him or something! No. He... he... he died from a blunt trauma to the head. Well, maybe, again, he fell and he was like, <laughs> and hit himself with the ch He was carrying something really heavy. 20 pounds. That's like two cats. <laughs> so, <laughs> two slightly bigger than normal cats. <laughs> okay, then. I guess most cats are really small. We have fat cats. Um, I know what I can't do. I can't stop now. If I stop attacking, I'm doomed. Alright, then let's do it. Mr. Phoenix Ray, if this witness is the killer, then his eyewitness account is all lies, right? Hmm. Mr. Wright, I'd like you to clear something up for me. When the crime was committed, exactly where was Mr. Dean Lane? Um, Good question. Do you know? No. He probably was not in his room, because he would have had to get all the way down, and that would not have worked out. So... <laughs> he was in Mo's room! <laughs> Maybe. So... Okay, here's the thing. Are you- do you think Acro is the one in the hood? That's what I'm trying to figure out, is I'm like, maybe he had someone to be in the hood, but he wasn't. Like, he planned something. Okay, do you want to no. just say he was in the plaza then? So, here's the deal. Here's the ringmaster's room all the way to the left. He has to walk do, 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 all the way to the lodging house and to yeah. that. Yeah, he has to do that. All the way over there. So... Yeah. When the crime was committed, aka the dude slumped so, so over. So Ben and Trivo were here, and then they ran off to chase Money the monkey. Mo was in his room. Oh, the monkey! They're friends. Maybe he sent the monkey to do stuff. <laughs> okay. Maybe he was like, "Oh, go over there." Oh, go kick, kick, kick. And then um, he hung out in front of the big circus, big top. Acro? Maybe. Okay. Are you saying circus or are you saying lodging house? I don't know. Just try there. There's no way he could be anywhere but exactly right here. In the plaza? He was at the scene of the crime itself? You're right though, the murderer would have had to have met the victim. Objection! Now! Miss Von Karma, stop it! You will be quiet and refrain from striking people. The witness could not have possibly left the lodging house on his own. Not to mention what Mr. Wright just said. There was no accomplice, remember? Yeah, um, you're right. You think I could get another chance? <laughs> Wait just one minute. Don't forget about my proverbial whip as well. Ah! Um... Where was he? So you're saying right outside the circus Maybe then? he was Waiting. in the cafeteria? We don't know if anyone is in the cafeteria, that is true. We could try that. He was right here. What? That location is completely unrelated to the crime. But I suppose if you said he was in his room, he wouldn't have been able to commit. Not oh, great. 
No! Miss Von Karma, stop it! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, then I... So you have no clue then? I have absolutely no idea. He's still in his room? That doesn't make any sense! <laughs> you have no idea where this is going, dude. I, he maybe was... he hit him on the head with something in his room. He opened the window and then he dropped it Oh, on he his dropped head. it on the Rainmaster's head. Maybe. That's definitely possible. Oh, maybe he... Maybe the, um... <laughs> You're so piecing it together. I'm, piecing, I'm trying to piece it together. Okay. Why is the pepper relevant again? I don't remember. Oh, no! His brother tried to... Pepper... Pepper? Pepper. Tried to put Pepper on Regina. So maybe he was like, Oh, my brother, let me save this in my gigantic heavy <laughs> case. And then, like, saw this was happening and just threw it out the window. Okay, that's your... Maybe. Theory? But... That um, doesn't explain... Mo. Mo C. Max. <laughs> well, maybe he put the cloak and the hat, and when it fell, it was, like, the perfect... Oh. <laughs> no. All right. This doesn't make we'll any just, sense We'll just figure it out as we go. He was obviously here at the entire time. That's Acro's room. Pretty simple, eh? Acro wasn't able to leave the lodging house by himself. There's only one answer to that. Acro didn't leave his room to kill the ringmaster. What? Are you nuts? What say you, Mr. Deanling? He's like I'm the picture of calm. Yeah, he he's not breaking down, is he? It's an interesting theory. Um, that's it? Considering that what you proposed is impossible, yes, that's it. Why hmm. is it impossible? You being in your room is completely possible! No, him killing the remaster while oh. in his room is impossible, is what he's saying. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? As the witness has stated, your assertion is impossible. As he is in a wheelchair, there's no way he could go to the scene of the crime to be the killer. Hmm, mm -hmm. you've got a point. It seems you've forgotten once again, Mr. Phoenix Ray. The defendant was clearly spotted at the scene of the crime. That's true! Mo said that he saw Max, didn't he? Maybe his brother's dead and his ghost came back, put on the clothes, and ascended. How else this would work? What the? Oh, no. It's still impossible for humans to fly. <laughs> My head's still impossible for humans to fly. <laughs> maybe he put the jetpack on the monkey. <laughs> he flew off. What jetpack? <laughs> it's the circus. Maybe they have stuff. I don't know. Do you mind if I ask a question, Mr. Wright? What is it? I understand some of your logic. However, how do you think that I killed him? If I can't leave my room, I obviously couldn't wear Max's costume. Whatever. Hmm, how did he do it? Mirrors? That's the next course of this legal buffet. Smoke? Be careful, Nick! If you mess up here... She's right. I can't mess up here. I've got to give this one some serious thought. I'm sure that Acro killed the Rainmaster. And he killed the Rainmaster while he was in his room. I like Phoenix's no doubt about it. Pose. Yep. Time yeah. to enlighten us as to how Mr. Deanwing committed the crime, Mr. Wright. Present evidence? Can't present evidence now. Uh, if we don't present evidence, they're like, well, that's the end of that thing. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> ah, I think we will finally be graced with an explanation. Don't push it, Von Karma. What? What? You aren't gonna suck me in this time. I'm smart enough to know when I don't have the cards to play and my hand sucks right now. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean, Mr. Wright? He means that everything he's set up to now has all been nonsense. Uh. It's true, right? If you can't establish proof of your own murder theory, then it's nonsense. Uh. He's trying to fool us by playing some misdirection game. It looks like this isn't going to pass muster. <laughs> Nick, you've got to show them some evidence! Easier said than done. So what will it be, Mr. Wright? <laughs> I'm going to present some evidence. So, what did Mr. Deanwing use to commit the crime of murder against Russell Berry? So this is asking, what is the murder weapon? Um, the thing I'm trying to figure out is the murder weapon has to be found there. Either that, or someone had to come over and pick it up, which is impossible because the footprints are there. Right. Which makes me think the only thing they could he could have thrown was that gigantic, ridiculous case. The wooden box, yeah. then. Well, I guess not. Stupid acro. 
I think you should try again, especially before someone gets the chance to say something. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, so as I was saying, this piece of evidence... Stop, stop, wait, I say. Before you start over, you must be penalized. Oh, he caught me. And if you don't put an end to this funny business, I've got a few more ideas. I'm going to present some evidence. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, well, that's that out of the He can't way. throw a lion, he can't throw a monkey, he can't throw the Magatama or our attorney's badge. Hat would do absolutely nothing. A poster would do absolutely nothing. Broken bottle? Nope. <laughs> no? Not. That was in the cafeteria. Um, Circus map? No. That was in the case. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. What would he have thrown? Oh, the bust. Maybe the bust? But it wasn't found there. That's true. It wasn't found in the cafeteria, but no one has seen it. Period. Like, even on so the crime So it's disappeared. Scene, it's disappeared. Which is suspicious. Yeah, we could try that, yeah. What's that? A picture? It is indeed. The problem is with the item that's shown in the picture. The bust? It's quite a large bust. And because it is life-sized, it is also very, very heavy. Heavy? Heavy enough to guarantee a certain death. Especially if it was dropped from a third story window. So would a broken button. No, actually, no, not broken bottle. <laughs> ah! Oh, come on, Acro. Suck it up. <laughs> wow! <laughs> See? This is how Acro was able to kill the Ringmaster. You murder someone, you gotta suck it up. <laughs> With the force of gravity and Maximilian Galactica's ample bust. <laughs> order! Order! So you're saying the bust fell onto the Ringmaster? A rather simple crime. Even if you were stuck in a wheelchair, it would be incredibly easy to commit. Objection! How could you possibly wheel a wheelchair in with something so heavy? It's impossible! Objection! You sit next to the window. Well, Acro is an acrobat. He should have more than enough upper body strength to carry something like the bus. Also, you can lock a wheelchair in place. It's more, Most... how does he wheel it towards the window if he's carrying it? Yeah, what you do, you put... Bust on your lap, you put your head on it, um, and you go. Have you forgotten his legs are completely destroyed, basically? That's what I'm saying. You have it, like, on the upper. It's not his entire leg, it's his upper leg. You have it sitting there. You put it's your, all your chin on it. In his legs. You, put, you put the chin on it so it keeps it down, and then you roll it with your hands. I don't think he could put it on, on his lap, though. That's okay, you lean back, and it goes on his stomach, and you. <laughs> Maybe he can't <laughs> lean back in the wheelchair. <laughs> Mr. Dean Wayne, how do you respond to these charges? Well. Akko's at a loss for words! He should be. He knows that I'm getting close to the truth. Well, 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 Akro. You can't run away from things this time. Ow! I'd watch what I say if I were you, Mr. Phoenix Ray. But what? Your Honor, the physical health of the witness is material to this case. I demand that we get proper testimony from the witness himself. Hmm. Testimony, you say? Fuck karma. She's just using this testimony as a rouse to stall for time. There's absolutely no need for such testimony. The defense has its version of the murder. The prosecution has a right to respond. The defense's objection is overruled. Why can't you see things my way once in a while? Mr. Deanwin, I'm sorry, but we need you to testify about your physical condition. If you have any doubts about your ability to testify, we can request expert testimony. The witness will have no problems, however, so let's all be respectful toward him. Thank you. She ah. was prepping him all night. That woman will sink to any row to win a case. <sighs> witness testimony, Acro's physical state. I suppose I could have lifted something the size of that bust. I have a strong upper body from working as an acrobat, and only my legs were injured. However, lifting the bust and looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the Ringmaster's head. Thus, it would be unrealistic for me to drop the bust on him, don't you think? Hmm... Your head isn't your lower body strength. You move your head. No, but you have to, like, lean out the window to look down. I have I no doubts in regards body. to this witness's testimony. It was impossible for him to lift the bust and carry it over to the window. Not to mention that he could not have known the location of the Ringmaster's head. A single false step would have lead to even more severe injuries. 
that's what I was thinking. What is your opinion on the matter, Mr. Wright? I'd still like to proceed with my cross-examination. He's simply stalling. It's shameful, really. Ah, I can't let her get to me. I've got to focus. Alright, and on that note, I think that's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time. We'll be cross-examining... Birds. Acro acros. Like, oh yeah, I totally uh, couldn't do this. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you can trust me. <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.